Today in our applicative laboratory, we'll be compounding a dense brown ringing gel applied as a hair care fixative product for edge and end styling. These water-soluble pomades are most popular in the multicultural market for customers of African, Latin American, and Mediterranean descent with wavy hair or curl types one to three. We'll color our gel dark brown for the value-added purpose of covering emerges gray on mahogany colored hair. This type of formula requires a large input of ethoxylate surfactants to transpire, 30% in the case here. Many cosmetic formulators and marketing peeps incorrectly refer to these products as micromulsions. These are not technically emulsifying anything as classic Windsor type 4 micromulsions do. There aren't any dispersed lipid micelles involved here. These are subsaturated aqueous dispersions of high HLB surfactants. The high concentration and proximity of the submicron surfactant vesicles and their displacement of water creates the translucent ringing effect you experience, one that mimics the properties of classic microemulsion, which would use half the surfactant levels used here. In our formula, we feature two nonionic alkyl ether surfactants supplied by 3V Sigma USA. Emulsiderms CT25 and BT25 are Cetera 25 and Behena 25 respectively. These two are primary and complemented by the ethoxylated ester PEG25 castor oil from Ethox. Cetera 25 is a mainstay in these formulations. However, the Behena ether BT25 conveys a lamellar crystal structure to these vesicles leading to a firmer gel with stronger hair fixation but also lending the softer sensorial effect behena moieties usually deliver. We'll use a one-to-one -one ratio of behena 25 with Cetera 25 to get the best result. Using a higher level of behena 25 would create a product that would be too firm, not pliable enough, and having too high a pore point. To get started, we'll first disperse into deionized water the caramel colorant DSL4 from Cephas Roquette here before adding any other element and heating mixture to 85 degrees centigrade. Remember, not all liquid caramels are the same. Select the right one for your application as chemical compatibility is a consideration. We'll then add to this two polyols in equal amounts, glycerin and butylene glycol. These perform three functions. They inhibit desiccation of the pomade inside the jar, extending the product shelf life. They lower the set point by the eutectic association with water. Plus, these add some humectancy to the final product. Never a bad idea when treating hair of African origin for which drying effects are all too common. Our solution is at 85 degrees Celsius. We've added our phenoxyl based preservative already. So now add the three surfactants in situ and in order, a one pot batch process, beginning with the liquid peg ester. This lowers the overall surface tension, which helps the next two wax materials disperse easier upon melting into the mix. Maintain the high temperatures important. We'll now slowly add the BT25, which has the higher melt point of the two alcohol ethers. Allow it to be melted and dispersed before continuing. Now we'll add the CT25 and allow time for melting and dispersion as before. We now have a uniform solution, 80 degrees Celsius, and we'll pop the fragrance in here. A thermally stable one, with all that surfactant in there, solubilizing the fragrance is a cinch. Just one last ingredient to add, a liquid polymeric hair fixative. With most of our water bound by surfactants, dissolving solids here is a tough job, so a liquid resin format is the way to go. We'll use PVPVA E635 from Ashland. This ethanol salivated liquid fixative resin easily blends in the alkoxylate water blend. In a way, the addition of a fixative resin is somewhat redundant. Our gel is firm enough on its own to fix hair to the hairline, edge, or style it horizontally like a pomade. The fixative adds more vertical holding power when needed and will absolutely not flake given how much plasticizing is had with all the surfactants in here. We have finished compounding and cooled to the pour point just above 70 degrees Celsius. Jars are the recommended packaging medium, of course. These can be tricky hot fills on the packaging line, so be sure you or your contract manufacturer have the right tools to do it. Cool below 40 degrees Celsius before capping to avoid water vapor condensate from cooling on the product surface. That could lead to surface mold growth in the cool, dark place inside of jar provides. Our styling pomade is now cooled to room temperature to form the finished product, a dark brown ringing gel that will place hair strands where you want them and stay there.